Hi, my name is Anne Marie Mulholland. I'm an instructional technology resource teacher from the state of Virginia in Spotsylvania County Schools. My role as an ITRT is in helping teachers and guiding teachers to integrate technology into their lessons and to provide professional learning. My background is in English. I was an English teacher for four years, but I also have experience with special education, gifted and talented in English speakers other languages. I have a lot of opportunities to share my knowledge. I actually present at many conferences. I work with my full school division. I work with my school's teachers and students. How I integrate SMART is when I co-plan lessons and I co-teach, I embed teacher learning about SMART into my everyday role in my school. In the upcoming video clips, you'll see some examples of this. so they can't go back and change their answers. Okay. So I have the problem that you sent me as an example. Okay. The kids would work it out, mm -hmm. and they drag it over to see if they got their answers okay. right. You can see the results. Yes, yes. Wow. And you can see All what you guys answers. chose. Seventy-eight percent of you wrote y equals six x. Yes. Yes. I guess. One of our world history teachers last year towards the SOLs, we had a couple review days, and so we had some games on the smart board. These may be more familiar to others. A lot of them are on the smart exchange. Um, I'll give you a link at the end that actually has ones that have been designed by our county, by some of our teachers and ITRTs. You know this one. Reformation leader that believed in predestination and established theocracy in Switzerland. Calvin. You're right. John Calvin. Now, we would actually typically have about four kids in a group, and they would go to the scoreboard, and let's say, and I remember from the last session, I actually just got to see Kyle. <laughs> Kyle got a point. I'm not a plant, though. <laughs> yes, <laughs> promise. <laughs> Kyle gets a point, and maybe um, if we wanted to, we could get each, each student to have a chance to answer. So maybe Christina got a point, but Eric and I, not so good, so we're still at zero. We click our fly to go back, and we pull... The f a dead fly over the top to block where we were. And the favorite part for our students, <laughs> the nice flash of ice. thousands and thousands of lessons that actually SMART has pulled together. And people actually, you can put your own lessons on. You can search by subject area. You can search by grade. Just to let you know, Vern, a lot of what you would like in PE is actually in science because of health. So when you start looking for things, you can actually just search in general for your resources. I like the standards correlated lessons if you teach an SOL based area. I can select my standard for the state. I can select my grade level. And um, you can adjust that. So for example, for geometry, you know, I know you guys teach multiple grade levels. So what was the really important part is the subject. And if it was math, I would be able to click geometry, algebra, whichever it would come to the side. And if I click view, here are my standards. And if I see a view resources, the instructional folks at SMART have, a, have figured out by looking at the lesson that was submitted, it aligns to that standard. 